Hey guys, making this video today to show you how to set up your GPS for fail safe and GPS rescue. Uh, this is the GPS that I use. So all the information here is, is based on this one, but I think that most of them they're pretty similar. I'm running Betaflight 351. Uh, whatever you are, you put your GPS on. Uh, you're going to want to change the sensor input on that UART to GPS. In your configuration tab, you need to set the accelerometer to on. If you like turtle mode, make sure you have this value at 180. You're going to turn on the GPS slider. Uh, for the GPS I'm using, it's U-Blocks and Auto Config works great. Then in your receiver tab, you're going to need to verify that all your throws on your channels the low end is at 1,000 or near 1,000 and 2,000. This is important for setting up your test flight. Speaking of your test flight, you're going to want to go into the OSD and you're going to want to put your throttle position somewhere on your OSD. You're going to use this during your test flight to get certain values. You need three values. You need a hover value. You need a descent value, not a free fall, but a decent descent value for your GPS rescue. And you're going to need a climb value. Again, don't do like a punch out value. Do a reasonable climb value. And you're going to want those three numbers. Once you do that, we're going to go back to the computer. You're going to go into the CLI. You're going to type get GPS. And this will bring up all the settings for the GPS. These are the ones you're going to change, or these are the ones that I change anyways. Um, our rescue angle, I changed to 40. Uh, this way, if it's a little bit windy, it can still get the speed it needs to do. So rescue angle at 40, GPS initial altitude of 70, and this is in meters. Uh, this makes your rescue altitude 70 meters. If you are flying below 70 meters, it will climb to 70 meters and come back. If you are above or at 70 meters, it will go 15 meters above your current altitude. I set the GPS descent distance to 50 meters and I set the ground speed to 1500. This is in centimeters per second. It should be about 35 miles an hour. The three values that you got you need to put in here. So your minimum throttle is your descent. So let's say you were descending at 15% throttle value. That is 1150 like mine. Uh, then you need to set your throttle max. This is your climb value. Uh, like I said, not a punch out. Mine was climbing at 35%. Uh, this is why the important values of 1,000 and 2,000 uh, on your receiver tab is not only good for making sure that all your rates turn out like they should, uh, but it helps you set up this GPS rescue. Then our hover value, mine was hovering at 26%, so I set that to 1260. Uh, our GPS rescue sanity checks, I set mine to fail safe only, and I dropped the minimum satellites to five. Those are the settings that I change in there. After you've done that, uh, you will go into the modes tab. Stand by into the modes tab and you're going to set a channel to GPS rescue um, and make sure you set that to a mode uh, so that'll be on a switch uh, it doesn't necessarily I wouldn't put it on a momentary switch but I'd put it on a fixed switch a two or three position switch anyways you're gonna set your GPS rescue uh, and then you're gonna go out and test your GPS rescue this is how you test it don't test with a fail-safe switch it, doesn't work you can only test stage one or stage two so test it on a GPS rescue switch and then leave this switch because it's it comes in handy uh, say you hit a tree and you get a leaf on your lens and you can't see I've done this before you flip the switch you got a minute to think about what you're gonna do uh, in the meantime the quad is climbing and heading back your way so to test your GPS rescue you're gonna want to go out and fly again uh, you're gonna go out 100 200 yards and get a little bit of altitude so that you can recover if there is an issue and you're going to flip the switch um, be ready to turn it off if there is an issue if there's not it will climb uh, it may come back to you sideways or backwards or 
whatever, it doesn't care. It's just coming back towards you. Uh, one other thing to remember is to make sure that your home arrow is on the screen and to make sure that your home arrow is pointed back towards you. Because uh, if it is not, then it does not know where home is. I have not had an issue with the home arrow yet. Once you've tested your GPS rescue and it works, it is time to set your failsafe. Uh, I set mine different than some, uh, but I will show you how I do mine. Uh, in my modes tab, I pick an empty channel. Uh, it doesn't matter what channel. You don't even have to have a switch for it. You can use auxiliary 12, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, you just use an empty channel. And you're gonna set that empty channel to horizon. And then you're gonna put the slider all the way to the right so that it covers the 2000 area. Then we're gonna go into our failsafe tab and we're going to set our stage one failsafe. I set throttle to hold. This will hold last throttle position. And then you're gonna set the channel that you put horizon on to set and 2000 if the slider is all the way to the right. This way when it goes into failsafe mode, uh, it will self level basically and hold the last throttle position. So it will be either a, most likely a climb or a hover. So it's that, and it's only gonna do that for your stage one setting. Uh, I have mine set for five, which is a half a second. I usually get signal back before that half a second. There's always alarms going off. So five is a half a second. Uh, you're gonna wanna set up all this and then save and reboot before you do the next step. And then your next step is going to go back into the CLI. You're going to type git failsafe. The setting we're looking for here is at the bottom, failsafe procedure, GPS rescue. Uh, it will probably be drop or auto land. Uh, depending on where you had that set up on your failsafe tab. Um, the reason you need to do this now is because if you do change anything on your failsafe tab, you will get rid of GPS rescue. There is This is the only way to set GPS rescue on a failsafe and it's through the CLI tab. Um, so you're gonna type set failsafe underscore procedure equals GPS rescue and then verify that it worked. Um, and like I said, if you do anything in the failsafe tab after you set this to the procedure, it will reset this. You'll have to go back and to the CLI and set this back to GPS rescue. Uh, because when you set anything in the failsafe, your only two options are drop and land. There is no GPS rescue in 351 as of now. And so if you do the save and reboot on any of them, it will it will change your settings. Uh, so like I said, if you do anything here, make sure you go back into the CLI and change your failsafe back to GPS rescue. Um, that's it, you're all set. I hope this helps you. Uh, thanks for hanging out.